Hey guys, my name is Sean, and today we're going to be talking about the new Steam UI. I'm going to be showing you guys a new user interface. It's, it is the beta, and before I even show it to you guys, I just want to let you know how to get it. The first thing you need to do is go to Steam and go ahead and download that. Now, once you have it downloaded, on the bottom right, you should see this little Steam icon. You're going to right click, go to Settings, under Account tab. Right here should have uh, should be a section called Beta Participation. Go ahead and click that, and it'll go through all the downloads you need to do, and you should have a new Steam UI. All right, so once you have that done, you're just going to go ahead and open Steam. And as you can see here, they kind of adopted a bit of the Zoom HD in the Windows Phone 7 interface a little bit with the tabs and all the whole caps thing. It looks pretty nice. They got rid of that whole... Uh, black and dark green and changed it for black, white, and dark gray, which I prefer by a lot. You've got these nice big buttons on top instead of those smaller ones. And as you can see here, it also has subtext. So you can see all the things that you really need to see right away. The store has also changed a little bit. They've brought some of the stuff to the top right here. Or at least here they've shown the change some changes here as the way you look at the games. There's also something here, community activity, that's new. I like that as well. They've changed how you would find a game in the store, your genres, demos, videos, and the search is right here now. In the library, they, they have a list right here, and every time you click on it, it will tell you how long you've been playing. That's a funny glitch, last we'll play tomorrow. Nice little screenshot of the game and how long you've been playing it, and also all your other friends that are playing it. I don't have any UBI on Steam. This is how you download your tools. Very similar list. Download it right here. Next thing is the Muse, which looks pretty nice. And lastly, Community, which hasn't changed much. It's still the same thing as before. And on top here, also, it has the same interface, but it's made it look a little bit nicer. The gray on white. Also, the big back the forward buttons. And I think that's about it. So thanks a lot for watching this video. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. And check back later for a lot more new videos.